All right, so we're going to call this Cooking with Tazare. This is Tazare Red. It's a sunflower whiskey. Uh, it's made in Dalton, Georgia by the Dalton Distillery. There's actually two Tazare's. One is aged in a, a red wine barrel, which hence makes Tazare Red. And then there is a, uh, we'll call it more of a yellow one that's aged in uh, uh, bourbon barrels. So two unique flavors, but this is what we're going to use tonight for cooking. So uh, tonight we're going to make something called steak a poivre. Uh, so here we've got two fillets. Uh, we've got a plate of uh, fresh cracked pepper. I got a big old mortar and pestle that my lovely bride bought me that I love to grind the pepper in. Uh, we got about two tablespoons of olive oil, two and a half tablespoons of butter. Uh, got kosher salt. Always use kosher salt. And we got a third cup of Tazare Red. So we're going to set the Tazare Red to the side and we'll start with the steaks. So steak au poivre, it's basically French for pepper steak. So what we're going to do is coat. We're just going to press the steaks into the pepper. Pretty simple, eh? Yeah. Uh, replenish as needed. We'll salt them too. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to cook these boys over medium heat uh, in this butter oil until they're about medium rare. And then we're going to uh, take them out of the pan and we're going to pour a good portion of the fat out of the pan and then we're going to put the Tazare Red in swirl it around light it up let it burn the alcohol off and we're going to keep the flavor of it and then we're going to pour oh forgot one thing i needed to have out a cup of heavy cream you know butter heavy cream it goes together right so we've got our steaks all peppered up we'll get us some kosher salt on them When I'm uh, doing the sous vide steaks, basically this is all I put on them, just salt, pepper. Put them in the sous vide for uh, a good hour. I like my steaks medium rare, and for me medium rare is, uh, but you hear my cat crying, right? I should have killed her before I started the video. So um, for me medium rare is 130, 132 degrees. And I'll use an instant read thermometer and show you what I'm doing once we start cooking. But Right now, that's all we had to do. That's all to prep. So uh, when we come back, we'll have uh, the butter and the oil in the frying pan uh, ready to put the steaks in, uh, and we'll cook. See ya. All right, we're back. The uh, got my cast iron skillet out, and we are uh, 300 degrees. We're cooking over what you know. We're going to call it medium high heat. We're not trying to sear with this. Uh, a little tool I got is a javelin. It's an instant read thermometer. It's a pretty cool deal. It'll give you a plus or minus one degree. Uh, so, you know, you stay, pay careful attention to your steak. You shouldn't ever cook it. So I got my temperature to where I want it. I'm going to put the steak in. And we're going to probably, I mean, it's a pretty thick steak right here. We're probably going to cook about four minutes a side. Mmm, smells good already. Alright, so we're ready to take our steaks out. I'll check the temperature and we are basically right at the level of medium rare. So we're going to pull these out. We're going to cover them with foil and we're going to empty the fat out of this pan and then we're gonna make the magic happen. Be right back. All right, we're back. We drained our fat. We're going to pour our Tazare in now. We're gonna move that off the heat. 
and we're going to light it. Now, Raymond Butler, if you decide to make this recipe, make sure you wet your beard before you do it. We'd hate for you to lose that wizard's beard you got going. All right, so now we're gonna mix in our cream. this down until it thickens up. We'll test it and see if it needs any salt. We know that we got plenty of pepper and then we will put our steaks back into it. Okay so after flaming our pan and adding a cup of heavy cream we cook this down to its Thickened up, a little bit like gravy. I actually added a little bit more pepper to it, believe it or not. A little kosher salt, check it. Make sure it's seasoned to your taste. And voila. Mmm, baby. Good stuff. So now we'll put our steak server in here. And then we'll spoon this sauce over top and when mama gets back with a little bit we are going to have a heck of a supper so I hope my cooking lesson was good uh, I urge you to go visit the Dalton Distillery and meet Chuck and Raymond and the van talk about Tazare and uh, exp you know <laughs> when you're not drinking it Cook with it. Have a good weekend. See ya.